Hi there. I want to take a moment just to talk about finding the roots of negative numbers um, because there are some issues we need to take a look at. It depends, it turns out, on whether you're talking about an even numbered root or an odd numbered root. So let's take a look at a couple of very, very simple examples. Let's take a look at the example, what is the square root of negative 25? Now as we've talked about in a previous video, the easiest way to do roots or to figure out roots is to prime factorize everything underneath the radical. Find the prime factors of everything under the radical. So under the radical we have negative 1 times 5 times 5. And we know we can pull out a 5 here. The problem is we're still left with this negative 1 on the inside. And there is really, there is no real square root of negative 1. Nothing times itself, not even an irrational number, can give you negative 1 under the radical because in order to have a negative, one number has to be positive and the other number has to be negative. So there's no way to have two identical numbers, even if they're irrational numbers, even if they're not um, rational numbers, to have that happen. So the answer to this is there's no real solution. Now we haven't yet talked about imaginary numbers and that's coming up I believe in a unit or so, um, but there is no real solution to this problem. And that's because it's an even root, meaning that we have to have numbers in pairs under the radical to bring them out, which means they have to have the same sign. And if they have to have the same sign, either positive and positive or negative and negative, then you're going to get a positive under the radical. There's, there's no way to get a negative under a radical with an even root. So any problem that has an even root with a negative underneath, the answer is no real solution. That is not the case when we talk about odd roots. No real solution. Okay, so let's take a look at an even problem. I mean, I'm sorry, an odd root problem. What if I had the cube root of negative 27? Okay, the cube root of negative 27. Let's take a look at it. Well, I can factor 27 as 3 times 3 times 3, can't I? Okay, but negative 27 can be negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. And we can end up with a negative this time because there's an uneven, there are an odd number of negatives. Okay, we know that a negative times a negative times a negative gives you a negative. So as long as we have an odd number of negatives, we end up with a negative. So in this case, we have three negative threes, which means we can pull it out here, and our answer to this problem is negative three. Okay, another way of looking at it, the cube root of negative 27 is negative one times three times three times three, I can pull out a negative one, I, excuse me, I can pull out a three because there are three threes there. But I again can write negative one as, and I showed it to you right here, negative one times negative one times negative one, which, I, which means I can also pull out a negative one. So times, so I still get the answer three times negative one is negative three. Okay, so I hope you can see that any time we have an odd index, if we have an odd root and the number inside is a negative, that can actually be answered. It's only when the index, when the root is even, that we cannot get a real solution from a negative under the radical. Let's do one more just to be safe. Let's do the, how about the fifth root of negative 32. Okay, fifth root of negative 32. Well, I can write negative 32 as negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Five negative 2's. Pull out one of them. My answer is negative 2. And again, you could also do uh, negative 1 times and then 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Pull out the 2 and then realize that negative 1 can also be factored to negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. 
There's a shortcut here, obviously, if you want to use this, and that is any time you see a negative inside a radical with an odd root, just go ahead and take out the negative, and then just treat the rest of it as you normally would. Okay, so if there's an odd root, just go ahead and take the negative out and treat the rest of it the way you normally would for the root. Okay, that's what I need to say about finding negative, finding the roots of negative numbers. See ya!